Good morning. Let us all please stand. Let's take this moment as we acknowledge each other's presence and welcome each other to our celebration of the Mass. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Today we celebrate Friday in the 29th week of Ordinary Time. Good morning. And our opening hymn for today's Mass is number 704, Gather Your People. Gather your people, O Lord. Gather your people, O Lord. One bread, one body, one spirit of love. Gather your people, O Lord. Draw us forth to the table of life. Brothers and sisters, each of us called to walk in your light. Gather your people, O Lord. Gather your people, O Lord. One bread, one body, one spirit of love. Gather your people, O Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us now humbly call to mind our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You have shown us the way to the Father. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. You have given us the consolation of truth. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. You are the Good Shepherd leading us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours, and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one Spirit as you were also called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that long to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that long to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. 
Lord, this is the people that long to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that long to see your face. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, when you see a cloud rising in the west and you say immediately that it is going to rain, and so it does. When you notice that the wind is blowing from the south, you say that it's going to be hot, and so it is. You hypocrites. You know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky. Why do you not know how to interpret the present time. Why do you not judge for yourselves what is right? If you're going to go to your opponent before a magistrate, make an effort to settle the matter on the way. Otherwise, your opponent will turn you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the constable, and the constable will throw you in prison. I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid last penny the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ today's gospel jesus challenges his listeners who can read the signs of the weather but cannot read the signs of the times that they are living in. What are some of the times, the signs of the times that we're living in today? Here are some statistics, uh, just a few, of the signs of the times in our church here in the United States as a whole. It depends on different regions, but this is kind of encompassing the whole. What we know is that only about 30% of Catholics believe in the real presence of Jesus in the Eucharist. That is to say, the overwhelming majority, about 70%, believe that the Eucharist is just a symbol of Christ, that it's not really him. That's the first sign. Second sign on the universal church uh, in the United States is that for about one person, that enters into the Catholic Church, there are about seven who leave. We see this a little bit more clearly over in the churches in the East Coast and the Midwest, especially the churches that close down and the churches that twin together, or even churches that were previously three separate churches joining into one parish. We don't see it as much over here on the West Coast. Uh, we see it more over there. But for every one person that joins the Catholic Church, there are about seven who decide to leave. And in the surveys, they tell us why. Uh, the number one reason that often comes up is they feel like they were never connected to a community. They never got plugged in and that they just kind of drifted away. It wasn't they got angry or anything like that. They just they never got plugged in. They just kind of drifted off. They got too busy. Church didn't become a priority in their mind, so they just drifted away. That's the reason number one. The second reason is they didn't feel like they were spiritually fed. Maybe at the parish, the homilies were maybe not good, or the music, or the hospitality didn't feel welcomed. That's reason number two. And reason number three is because they disagreed 
with the teachings of the church. So the second sign of a time is for everyone entering, about seven leaving. And then the last sign, um, and I'm, I know these statistics because I wrote about 200 pages for my master's thesis studying these things, that for young people ages around 18 to 24, um, about 15% of, uh, excuse me, about 50% of them who were raised in the Catholic Church have already left. So that is to say, you know, 50% of the babies that we've seen baptized, 50% of the children we've seen receive First Communion, 50% of the teens we've seen receive confirmation have already left. And uh, those statistics were about three years ago, four years ago when I was doing my research. We also know the age of when they decide that they want to leave the Catholic Church. And the age, the average age, is 13. That is to say, before they've even entered high school, in middle school, they've already, in their own minds, they've decided, I don't want to be Catholic anymore. Now, even if they might be coming to the programs or events, they, in their minds, they've decided, oh, I think I'm, I'm not going to be Catholic. These are some of the signs of the times in our church today. As you can see, the work is definitely cut out for us. And that's why Jesus has called us to be evangelists, to be innovative, creative, missionary, going forth, finding ways so that we can bring these people back, to bring the young people back, to bring those who have drifted away to come back home, and to help those 70% of people who don't believe in Christ in the Eucharist to believe in him there. May the Lord send us the gift of his Holy Spirit to be able to do this. Let us now stand as we lift up our prayers and our needs before God. Our response, prepare us for your kingdom, Lord. Prepare us for your kingdom, Lord. That the church may respond to the call for conversion and renewal. Let us pray to the Lord. Prepare us for your kingdom, Lord. That people, that the people, excuse me, that people of goodwill may work together to put an end to war and hatred, oppression, and injustice. Let us pray to the Lord. Prepare us for your kingdom, Lord. That we may become more aware of the presence of Christ among the poor and the suffering people. Let us pray to the Lord. Prepare us for your kingdom, Lord. That the sick may be given strength and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Prepare us for your kingdom, Lord that our friends and relatives who have died may experience everlasting joy in the company of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Prepare us for your kingdom, Lord. The intentions of this Mass are offered for the eternal repose of Gina Moreno, Father John Block, and all souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Prepare, Prepare us for, for your, your kingdom, kingdom Lord. Lord. We also pray in thanksgiving for Raul Limbaring, Juno Felarca, Silvia Agosino, Elsie Tinio, Miguel Mendoza, and Anna Mohammed. Let us pray to the Lord. Prepare, Prepare us for, for your, your kingdom, kingdom Lord. Lord. We pray for our sick, Cavita Marquez, Milton Tennant, and Evelyn Dinglasan. Let us pray to the Lord. Prepare, Prepare us for, for your kingdom, Lord. Lord. And for our dearly departed, 
Bonfillo Serrato, Gladys Mina, Eduardo Maldonado, and Vilma Evaldez. Let us pray to the Lord. Prepare, Prepare us for, for your, your kingdom, kingdom Lord. Lord. We take a moment of silence as we bring to the Lord our own prayers and petitions and the prayers of our Ark of Prayer chest. Let us pray to the Lord. Prepare, Prepare us for your kingdom, Lord. God, our Father, help us to recognize the signs of our times and give us your Holy Spirit to be creative and innovative and missionary in helping to address those needs. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, plenis uncelli et terra. Gloria to her, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body 
and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, all the bishops, priests, deacons, religious, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Santiago de Compostela, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now pray in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, 
Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Can you stay? Qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, Qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father, and the work of the Holy Spirit, through death gave life to the world, free and unashamed to share his love, his love for all my sins. We be faithful to our Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. the communion antiphon. The Son of Man has come to give his life as a ransom for many. The body of Christ. We now join in prayer with our brothers and sisters who are with us online and who are uh, homebound. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. We turn now to Mary, our mother, as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. To Saint Joseph. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you God entrusted his only Son. In you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ was secure and safe. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. And to Saint Michael. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you and all of your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is number 559, Open My Eyes. Open my eyes, Lord. Help me to see your face. Open my eyes, Lord. Help me to see. Open my ears, Lord. Help me to hear your voice. Open my ears, Lord, help me to hear. Open my heart, Lord, help me to love like you. Open my heart.